this is Bill for Sparky Channel. A friend of mine sent me this photograph. I thought it was pretty interesting. Do you see a code violation here though? So how about this concentric knockout? Let's take a look at the code book and see what it has to say about concentric knockouts. This is article 250.92b, method of bonding at the service. Bonding jumpers meeting the requirements of this article shall be used around impaired connections such as reducing washers or oversized concentric or eccentric knockouts. Standard lock nuts or bushing shall not be the only means for the bonding required by this section, but shall be permitted to be installed to make a mechanical connection of the raceways. And they have four uh, ways they suggest doing it. And uh, number four says other listed devices such as bonding type lock nuts, bushings, or bushings with bonding jumpers. This is what a grounding bushing looks like. And here's two properly installed grounding bushings. Notice that each grounding bushing only has one EGC in it. If it's not listed for more than one, it can only have one. And grounding bushings also come in split bushings if it's more convenient for you. So the problems I'm seeing with this situation is that there is no EGC yet and there's no grounding bushing. That concentric knockout is creating a problem with the grounding. So you have to defeat that problem by using something like a grounding bushing. Do you see any other violations? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.